So I figured I'd be autistic about it. And uh, start by let me move this here right now. And I'll show you the new set. See what it look like. It's the new set. You know, I'll frame it so you probably won't see the the the, uh, the black stars, the black stars with the green background. I can frame it when I'm talking. Uh, this is how I roll. This is how I sleep. <laughs> when I go to bed. see, normally on that side of the bed, you know, whatever where I'm at, my, that's where my wife would be. But she's uh, in South Africa, and I'm here in Virginia. So, what can we say? You know, damn COVID. I'm sorry, darn COVID. I, you know, some yeah, damn COVID. Damn right. <laughs> Let me try to explain this to you. All right, so let me move this thing here. Come on, get right, buddy. Um, well, I said damn right. That's like in some in some for some some reason some places that's considered a. a Bad word, curse word, or whatever, whatever, they, whatever they say. Um, but in uh, in my world, that's not true. <laughs> well, that's that, that, that that's 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 the way it is in a bunch of worlds. But curses, like uh, for me, I don't really understand curses. More like sounds to me. You know, the sound of vibration that that comes out. You know, the energy that's that's pushed out with that vibration. That's what it's more like to me. Anyway, uh, this is a year-end thing. It's a, I say it's a, it's a ritual or an institution or something I'm going to do every year. What well, can I put my hat on? Huh? Wait, wait a second. Uh, let me see. Yeah, still. Can I try to do the green side? The green represent we got. No, I'm all black. I still all black. I'm serious. Get serious. Hey. The black of the berry, the more serious the juice. I got to put that on. Ah, I being me, T from the past is taking a train to Tibet. I do the year ending. Oh, you know what I saw? Oh, when I was um, babysitting, not babysitting, I was hanging out with my grandnephew over in that place on Netflix. I saw the trial of the Chicago 7. Man, that boy is a filmmaker. He crafted that film that you... Given the subject of it, you just in it. You just, you know, forget those thrill rides from movies that you see, whatever have you, or those do philosophical or art house thing. This thing is a is a is a art, it's a mas is a masterpiece. This boy is a good filmmaker. Hey. Well, I mean, you know, if he is on Instagram, then people would be writing and say, Would you partner up with me or something like that? But we don't do that here, right? Okay, um uh here and thing, here's what we do. Oh, for, let's explain the uh language hurts. <sighs> okay, here we go. Uh, a long time, it was kind of interesting uh, when I placed my fraternity, Mil Pensacola Military Fraternity, and uh, Dennis, we made the fraternity area, we went over the line. You know, there was only five of us. Well, it was Dennis Spears was one of the people. We, was, we had a meeting, you know, on 55th Street, and uh, Dennis came in late, right? So, uh, so Donaldson, and Jerry Donaldson, peace and blessings on his eternal soul, uh, Jerry Donaldson, you know, basically cursed Dennis out when he walked in late. Oh, because, you know, we had just made the, you know, made the fraternity. Okay. So Dennis, like, you know, puts up, you know, a protest. He says, you shouldn't talk to, you know, me like that, blah, 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 whatever, whatever he said, whatever he used to try to make his point even stronger like they do today, you know. Well, Jerry then proceeded to say the same thing again in the most eloquent English you've ever heard. So it really is about sound to me, right? So the reason why I don't necessarily, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't say it anyway, because, okay, words like, like nigga and like bitch, I don't, I never, I never, even was before all this all brouhaha, this correctness, all the way back, I just don't use some things, you know? Now, motherfucker, you know, that's my... Samuel Jackson, before Samuel Jackson was all in awe of it, you know, <laughs> I was right there like everybody else in my generation, you know. But that's about the only one. You know, then other things like like even something like faggot, you know what I mean? We did we didn't say it like that, you know, we said it like if, if somebody was messing I can't explain it, you know. Anyway, the point is these are words that are so called offensive words, but they also if you listen to the sound, they they have a certain vibration, right? So as I proceed through life and I want to change alter the vibrations around me you know get, you know, get, don't bring me no bad news get, uh, you know whatever no some water and trying to be in that state 
you necessarily shed some of these things so you come to a new understanding. So, like, I had this thing, like, there's an Indian, a, a Native American thing once said that a woman is, uh, a girl becomes a woman at 25, a boy doesn't become a man until he's 52, right? So number 52 stuck in my head. So I said that when I, I can be the man, you know, grown to be the man who evolved to be a man, you know, to 52, right? But then from 52, then I put it in 12 years because like three is my number. Somehow 12 seemed appropriate. So that means 64. So from 52 to 64, I have I have this 12 years to clean up my acts or to or to, or to train myself in the posture to be a, a, a true elder, you know, an elder. Of, of the, uh, let's call it the tribe, of the nation, whatever, of the gathering, of the group, <laughs> an elder, elder of the group. So, so that's what happened to it. Now, when you get to be 64, then you have to have all, and then you have to, you know, that's all right, right, right. But what I did was I had certain principles in place, whatever, aided by a lot of things I, had, I noticed. One of the things was uh, Mr. Neely Fuller's uh, uh, code. I'm all the way over there, I gotta climb the bed. Hold on. Oh, by the way, this is just this recording is for archival purposes only. I mean, I'll put it out there. Uh, that's my year end thing. Oh, what's, oh, this is the Dumas. Goodbye, sweet water. Goodbye, this. Um, uh, short stories. I have to work with this. Uh, Will the circle be unbroken? I want to do something with it. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, here it is. So I got it in the mail. Where did it come to? Anthony Sloan, No More Radio. Where's my No More Radio? Oh, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm building my set. Just hold on. My No More Radio, oh, here it is. Oh yeah. Where am I gonna put my No More Radio? Pen? Oh, well, flag. I gotta get a stick for it or something like that. Let's see what happens. You know, you have to be, I, have to, I want to be comfortable on my set. Oh, wait a second, I can't see it. I gotta turn this a little bit. See it better. Boom. There you go. No more radio. Uh, I'll leave everything else alone. Okay. Um, oh, here. Oh, here's what I'll show you. Mr. Newly Fuller Jr. Now, what I use this as, uh, this, uh, uh, um, see, I have the original, original, you know, big, big, uh, bigger book, and I had it rebound from Lovedale Press, you know, the Revolutionary Press in Alice in, in South Africa for the struggle, you know, the whole, you know, struggle for apartheid. So I had them rebind it and, and, and authenticate it, all right? But anyway, I use this as like, you know how some people use, use scriptures on a certain day of the week, you know, and, and the, um, you know, the, whatever, whatever you want to call it, the person is reading the scriptures out, right, and, and make a comment on it, um, they, they refer back to the same book. You go by the same book. You don't take this book and then I pick up the Holy Quran and start reading out of that. That would, Then that would be simple, you know, to pick up a Bible and give and read out of that or whatever, you know. Uh, 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 if that happened, then you would no longer be doing your religion. You'd be doing a, a, a comparative religion class. Hey, everybody said, oh, I had that in an uh, extension course. We had that. I had uh, yeah, extension courses up there from Trent State College. Hey, if anybody took comparative religion, we would we would have any we would have less problems. Okay, so anyway, so that means that you know you can I can pick up any place here. Where's my where's my reading glasses? I, 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 no, I need reading glasses for this. I want to go through that. Take, take too much time. Uh, no, I want I gotta record everything. What am I talking about? Nothing takes too much time. So come in, come in, come in. Now, see, people come down on the VA, but you have to know here to use the VA for what it's for. If you want some sort of care, you know, healing, that's not the place to go. But if you need meds, you need, uh, you know, a primary doctor just checks you overall. And if you have to have some sort of weird specialty, you know, you might be able to, well, you just, never mind. The point is, uh, it's, social, it's socialized medicine, but it's, it's for sort of certain basic things, you know. It's not to... No. <laughs> okay, so here's the glasses. And what I'll do, my reading glasses, put this here. So I got these from, from the VA. I gotta put more water in there. Uh, I just open up to anything. It says, question. Um, 
Let me do a small show. Yeah, I better do it that way. Question. What is the best and correct way to speak of so-called countries, nations, etc.? Countries, nations. What's the best, best way to, to describe these things? Or well, yes. Or speak, speaking of them. Speaking of them. Yes, yeah, what it says. When speaking of a country, that's in quotes, nation, there's a bracket in quotes, etc., try to refer to the nation of white supremacists, racists, and or race race nation as a country or nation that actually exists. Try to refer to all so-called countries, nations, etc., as ideas and or concepts that may or may not be in the process of being produced. In other words, everything's a work progress. Rather than say Africa or America or Asia or Canada or Germany or Paradise or Rome, say concept Africa, concept America. Concept Asia, concept Canada, concept Germany, concept Paradise, concept Rome. So, so that 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 one thought or whatever have whatever I get out of that, that would be the thought. Just like you know, um, just like we went to you know the weekly, you know, hey, let's illuminate something. So this is a compensatory compensatory concept, the United Independent Compensatory Code System concept, a compensatory. Counter racist code, right? This is the revised expanded edition, this particular one. This is a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action for victims. Especially for victims. If you ain't a victim, then you don't don't complain what you hear. <laughs> you ain't got no say what you hear, right? Of racism, white supremacy is by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Uh, you can get it at producejustice.com. You can order from ProduceJustice.com. Support the brother on that level. Don't be, you know, don't be no cheap. Support the brother. <laughs> oh, oh, not to the matter at hand. Oh, sorry. It took so long to get to this point. Uh, back to my glasses. I don't need my glasses. Put my regular glasses on first. No, I don't need those either. You know what I need? It's a wine. Also, I'm not really going to drink. I think this year is going to be interesting. I think I'm not going to drink this year. Even I'm going to start by not drinking. This would be, when this buy wine, usually it takes me, uh, usually it takes me like uh, four or five days to um, finish a bottle of wine. So this is uh, 19 Crimes. She was called 19. What's the, sorry, I'm looking for the... Uh, 19 Crimes is this um, wine out of Australia. This particular one, Shiraz. I love Shiraz's. But they're a red blend or whatever it is. Uh, it's really good too. So, 19 Crimes. I'm not giving the advertising, I'm just trying to tell you what I'm drinking, right? So, that's that. All right. Salute. You know, Happy New Year. Happy 2021. Ah, okay, let's get down. So what I do is, you now I make notes in a book. You know, I make notes. That's all a good book. And then at a certain period of time, namely at the end of the year and at the, uh, you know, my birthday, I start, it's like a new set of thoughts or something like that. Anyway, I review what I did because I, some, I outline it, I outline it, I highlight it with the highlighter. And so when I come to those periods like New Year's Day or, or um, the day after my birthday, then I look through this and it just reminds me of highlights. Highlights get highlights. Of the of the of that time period, uh, you know, I did this thing. I hear I've had highlights: shoe clinic, eye clinic, podiatry, pharmacy. So that's the VA. Okay. Um, oh, look at this. Uh, oh, thing called C uh, C CIMAC. CIMAC? CIMAC. C I M A C. Would that be CIMAC? I guess that's CIMAC. CIMAC. C Congressional. Industrial, military, academic 
or academia. Complex. Let me read no, I'll get it at the end. This, uh, like, uh, when you say, for instance, congressional, that's the, that's the law and the policy brand of, of how to get you all entwined. And when you say military, that's the muscle. You know, some people think the fiat currency, well, it's only backed by, by, by men with guns. That's what uh, one of those economists said that. Um, anyway, so that's what, that's the truth for there. Uh, industrial, that's the manufacturing. And hey, if you really want to do something in the world, you got to be manufacturing. You just can't be throwing out ideas. That don't, that's not producing anything. Um, uh, think tank, that would be the academia or academic, you know, think tank. Because the, these college universities are not really places of learning, exploration, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. They're really just think tanks. And think tanks in the, in the thing of giving marching or giving sustenance to uh uh, people that get marching orders, you know, blindly and just go ahead and try to do what they do. Um, and again, that's the congressional, industrial, military, academic complex, or uh, CMAC for short, or CIMAC, if you will. Um, oh, oh, I did a poem for my brother. He passed this year, May. So I did a poem for him. Did a whole ceremony, a bunch of ceremonies around, around his passing. Gregory is a good guy. You know, oh, uh, there's this whole thing about just taking the knee off, off, off my, taking the knee off my neck. You know, the whole knee, the whole George Floyd thing. Um, so one of the things that people say, say it, say it, say their name or whatever it is. Well, mm. ooh, tastes good. Well, then I I pick three names. I say I I take everybody should pick three names out of their um, uh, struggle days or their experience or out of their generation. Pick your three names. You don't have to, everybody, don't have, everybody doesn't have to say George Floyd. You know what I mean? It's been, you know, before George Floyd, it was it. After George Floyd, it has been and continue, will continue to be. So you could pick another name. So I say pick three names. So the three names I picked was Henry Dumas, right? He shot by a rookie subway cop, May 23rd, 1968, the 135th Street stop. You know, and, uh, Malcolm X... Or whatever. Rookie cop. Number two, I remember I said we should have three peep individuals, should be that much, you have at least have three that you know. Uh, number two, Eleanor Bumpus. Henry Dumas was like, you know, 33, just turned 30, just turned 33, 30, 32, or 33, going to be 34. Eleanor Bumpus was killed 1968, I mean, 1984. So she was a grandmother in her project apartment and was blown away by, by a cop with a shotgun. So that's the second name when you say say a name when you have or you want to you know have something like that. And I make these tenuous, not tenuous, but I make these connections that nobody else would make because for a deeper level. So Henry Dumas is there, so also to honor him that I, I work on this play called um, Double Nigger Crossing, right? Talk about that language. And in this and this play is about the Emmett Till, has to do with Emmett Till. And it's from a story that from Henry Dumas. You see? So that's that connection. That's a hidden thing that, you know, only, you know, the creator, the creator me, I mean me, you know, the artist, whatever you want to call it, the executive producer, I don't know, whatever it is. So that's the second one. And that was like I said, October 29th is when they came to to her. Project Department blew her away. Uh, Clifford Glover, young Clifford Glover, young man, 10 years old, young, 10 years old. I just talked to Mike Sargent about talking about the film, uh, uh, the film Soul. One of the things just in passing a comment that came, you know, that film, you know, it's, uh, it's animation. I think it's for a kid mark. Yeah, okay, for a kid mark. But you have to uh, know that Ten-year-olds, even back then, right, right now, even back then, the Clifford Gomez, they, they knew they had to be more whatever than your average ten-year-old that people think they're making these comp, uh, these uh, cartoons for. Anyway, so those are my three. Henry Dumont, Elder Bumpus, Clifford Go Glover. That's what I remember. So I got that thing. The Longest Yard re uh, Reversal. Oh, I don't worry about the Longest Yard reference. Let me see what else I got in this book. This is what I do on that, you know, on this day, I go through this, gather my thoughts, things I have to think about. 
Oh, reparations. People talk about there's one thing, reparations as, you know, uh, what does that say up there? As a repair, you know. And then people, a lot of people focus on the monetary thing. So I dealt with the monetary thing in here. And I said, basically, that 82 trillion should go uh, uh, given in fiat money, uh, 82 trillion fiat money. Um, also, you have 82 trillion, in, and then that fiat money would come from the US uh, government, right? Uh, the, yeah, 82 trillion in um, minerals, gems, whatever have you. That's from Africa, uh, and that's from those nations in Africa, or those areas in Africa that basically uh, uh, aided in, in its trade. Also, the, on that same thing would come suing the uh, insurance companies to sue, so we'd get this going at the shipping lines, get involved, this, this, uh, anything that has to do with that whole thing that would come and be part of that 82 trillion you know, dollar reparation, right? That's because, I mean, uh, 82 trillion, whatever international bonds, or what, international something. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry that's minerals. Eight, in minerals, okay, mineral, mineral value. And then 82 tri trillion in tr crypto. Somebody got to pay us some crypto. Maybe that, that, maybe the crypto would be the, how do you say, the fundraising part, because we love the fundraising, you know. We do all kinds of things. We have a bake sale. Everybody have a bake sale at one time. Get this cryptocurrency together. So in the crypto world, so we would have 82 trillion reparations in that. And the, in fact, that's how you do it. The 82 trillion for the, for, the, for the Bitcoin, make sure it is Bitcoin. Forget the other stuff. Um, but you make it so that's like a laboratory for people. That's a business thing. So to be a part, to get that part of that uh, ADOS, uh, North American descendants of chattel slavery, folks. You know, people experience also experience the, uh, the Jim Crow and the, and the, the well, the, whatever, you know, the, the segregation, the red line, the whole the whole thing, you know, prison pipeline, it goes right through today. All this is part of reparations, and all those people will be a, a part of that. We, 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 we get, you know, we'll get something out of that. Okay, so those are the three ways to do it. That's That was highlighted, came to me for as monetary. My thing about reparations is much bigger than that, uh, including, you know, things like uh, correcting, not correct, but you don't even correct the history books. You put in other history books. You, you let those uh, those low line history books just go, you know, just fade away. That's all, because you're putting out uh, other kinds of information. And then, you know, you could do it in books, but now you have so many other ways to do it. Uh, so many other ways to do it. Let's see. Look at Anthony's Amaretto. I think that was supposed to be something like that. Uh, oh. Like a chain of of stores that would uh, like you know coffee shops that always fe feature and this have amaretto, so you have coffee and amaretto, ice cream, you know, whatever you know you have something amaretto. Uh, uh, that's the movie Soul. And now I can read this out because like I said, here's so I can so on these days I can curse, on the other days I don't. Those those days I'm gonna tell you New Year's Eve, New Year's. And also my birthday, three days out of the year, I can say. I don't usually, because, you know, you just, whatever. And that's that's what I came to, uh, the code. That's what I included in my in my code that's inspired by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Uh, when I turned 64, okay? So um, so that's it. So now I'm going to curse in this because I wrote curse in here. I'm going to translate the emo emojis and, and symbolic language. I'm going to translate as I read, all right? This is about the movie Soul. What can really be said? On one level, in one reality, I love, respect, and truly understand the process. I enjoyed the movie so much. I really did. I really enjoyed it so I ah, top of it or whatever to me. In fact, I might turn it on someplace and watch it again. <laughs> so much to, you know. Okay. Yet in the reality of ADOS, it would be the North American descendants of chattel slavery. All right, ADOS. In this, in this ADOS struggle, this work is so fucking wrong. It's got the angry face emoji. Damn. The, damn the system of Anglo racist white supremacy in, uh, okay, oh, damn. Gotta read the right thing. It's like, 
Got the audio drum. We should audio drum. Everybody should audio drum with their stuff, man. Audio drum is, is a knee, bee's knees. It's in, in, in a new form, you know. Say, hey, you got that audio drama? You know, instead of people putting out rap records and stuff like that, we put out a whole slew of audio dramas, like little vignettes like that. Anyway, damn, the system for Anglo racist white supremacy is a father fucker. And that's that's my comment on uh, uh, the movie Soul. So that oh, so that let me see this. I'm, I'm still going through the book. Remember, this is this is a ritual you can start. Like you can you can start any ritual or custom you want. You, whatever culture you're a part of, it just becomes it's you. Therefore, it is your your culture. What you what you as Mr. Newly, Newly Fuller Jr. would say, what you're doing at any particular time is your culture. That's that's what it is. Uh, okay, I think that's all. All right. Yeah. Nothing else. Nothing else in this book. So that's what I do. Um, uh, what's I going to tell you? Ooh. Uh, oh, oh, I know. Here's what I was really going to talk about. Hold a second. And then I end here. Don't worry, I'm trying to keep people not to, you know. The algorithm, the algorithm doesn't pick me up because um, I don't monetize the channel. All right. And I also have its own creative content. So, and I have constantly have low numbers, under 20. And it's still been that way for a long time. So I don't get trolled. And also the YouTube don't come after me. So I'm sort of protected that way. Oh, so I'm sort of hot in this room. I open the window. Yeah. Um, let me see. Oh, what was I saying? Oh. So. Uh, I did a, a, a Instagram uh, earlier this uh, midday somewhere on the late morning. And it had to do with uh, realizing that or claiming that the punk rock scene brought on like cyberpunks. Now, you know, people come from someplace, brought on, brought on cy cyberpunk punk, uh, punks, you know. And the cyberpunks are the ones that dealt with crypto cryptocurrency that forced a uh, Bitcoin upon the world. And, just, and Bitcoin is basically mathematics, just like the universal languages of music, right? Uh, Mathematics. <laughs> That's it. You have either one of those two things, and you're basically you communicate all over the world. Okay, any place. Everybody has the same. You have to abide by the same uh, realities. I don't even call them laws and stuff like that. I call them realities. Okay. So I said cyberpunk then created Bitcoin. Therefore, um, punk rock. You know, did something with their with their did something with their momentum. I didn't say it like that, but now I'm saying it like that. So punk rock did something with the momentum. My question was, what has hip hop done? Has hip hop changed? Now you now you understand. I'm trying to say that the cyberpunks, the 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 you yeah, cyberpunks, or not the cyberpunks, the uh, the punk, the punk rock, the punk rocks back in the day forced it upon. You know, it was an incubator forced it upon the world. Bitcoin now not going to change the world. It's going to alter the the stakes. Everybody will be a, a little bit more more equal. There'll be a little bit, something will be taken away. You won't be beholden to a, a, a top-down particular thing. So, and now you'll be, you're your own bank, in other words. And since everybody's basically sophisticated by now, or you should be, you can be sophisticated by now and basically get your own, your own sovereignty. Your own sovereignty is really very valuable. Okay, Shiraz. So, so my question really was, what was hip hop for? So don't tell me, oh, these millionaires or so-called millionaires or billionaires to, to look at them. People that we can look at, they forced at that? What did they, you know, what thing have they done to change, to alter the circumstance? No matter what we say, Bitcoin alters a circumstance. So if you're in a circumstance, how you, what do you do, what do you do to alter that circumstance is, is really the question. So that's my question to begin 2020 with, you know. Meanwhile, I got to do this, uh, uh, this reading, uh, you remember to, um, we were reading, oh, it doesn't matter, we're reading. Um, we'll talk again some other time for books. 
All right. So uh, welcome in. Happy, uh, you know, happy new year in 2021. Ooh, two and two is four and one is five. Ooh, five is an extreme number. Oh, this year might be, in, uh, be an extreme year. <laughs> More extreme than 2020. Hey, I'm just, you know, reading the numbers. That's all. Take care.